Well, in Canada's centennial year, uh, shoppers in Kitchener were brought into the 20th century with the arrival of something called a shopping mall. And it was an instant success. It's grown by leaps and bounds over the years. It has been added on to and renovated and contemporized. It was the first superstore, the first super mall in Waterloo Region, Fairview Park Mall. And on that note, we welcome our next guest. Yeah, we're, we're joined uh, by General Manager Scott Baird, who uh, is, uh, is uh, a general manager at Fairview Park Mall. And actually, uh, up until recently, was also general manager at uh, Lime Ridge Mall in, uh, in Burlington. So uh, welcome, Scott. Welcome. I am welcome. Thank you. Appreciate uh, it. Well, and I guess the, the first to start, and sim- because you, you've uh, you, you're you're at now at Fairview full time again, but but had had the connection with with Lime Ridge. Why don't you just give us a comparison about the two marketplaces and what 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 uh, what would be different from Kitchener to Burlington? Well, I think uh, when you look at the Greater Hamilton market, I think it's interesting. I heard you fellows talking about Black Friday. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, in the, in the Hamilton market, uh, the proximity to the U.S. border is probably 40 minutes. Mm-hmm. Here it's a little further away. And uh, that's a big difference. And, of course, with the dollar pretty close to par, uh, folks aren't too concerned about gas prices anymore, and they will go across the border to get deals. And, you know, that's, that's a difference in the markets. Uh, Limeridge is slightly larger than, uh, than Fairview Park, and both... Both centers, however, are dominant in their respective marketplaces, Limeridge and Hamilton, and, of course, Fairview Park in, in Waterloo Region. Interesting you say about, uh, about Black Friday, and uh, this was the first year that, uh, that we as a corporation, Cadillac Fairview, really tackled Black Friday in order to, you know, keep the dollars within Canada. And uh, that was November 23rd, and I've got to tell you, the results were astounding in, in all the properties that, uh, that uh, participated in Black Friday. And we were quite excited, and uh, I can certainly see us doing the same thing again next year, uh, larger, larger momentum. So, so what were some of the specific things you did? Uh, to, was it just promoting, or, or were there special, special deals that you were partnered with your retailers with? Our retailers uh, really jumped on board, and, and uh, there were some, <clears throat> some significant deals, uh, you know, 50% off, 40% off, uh, deals specifically geared to Black Friday to launch into the Christmas selling season. So, like I said, we were extremely, extremely pleased with the results, and uh, our retail clients were, were pleased as well. And the interesting thing about it is, in both uh, in both Hamilton and Waterloo Region, uh, we've got some U.S. retail clients: Hollister, Banana Republic, Sephora. Who you know, we want to give the opportunity for them to generate and conduct business in Canada. Uh, you know, similar to what they do in the U.S. So it, it certainly uh, it certainly was uh, an excellent day. We were quite uh, we were quite excited. Uh, Scott, um, you know, online shopping is becoming more and more popular. Now, we just had Kerry LaRue on from the Canadian Tire and Pine Bush in Cambridge, and, you know, he talked about uh, the statistics saying it's approximately 10% of the overall um, retail market. But, you know, we do know that it is growing. People are becoming more and more confident with uh, spending money online. Um, what, are, what, are, what is your um, retail sector, the mall sector, doing to combat this? Well, I think... You're correct. I mean, the online component becomes a bigger component. I think, however, a lot of the a lot of the online, uh, particularly when you look at the fashion, uh, hard goods are a little bit different in terms of the online piece. But in terms of fashion, you really want to see uh, the colors. You want to try on the the, the garments. Uh, the, the fashion component. A lot of folks are looking at online in terms of probably comparison pricing, looking at the garments, but. Bricks and mortar, I think, is still where it's at and, and will continue to be. Uh, you bring up a good point about that because, you know, I, I've talked to a lot of people who have done online shopping and are a little bit disappointed at what they get in the mail when it comes. And, you know, it's not quite what they saw online or what they thought they saw online. And, and there's that disappointment factor, and people still like to touch and feel. Exactly. And, I mean, if you look at our, our uh, traffic patterns in the shopping center in both uh, – both Limebridge and Fairview Park over over previous years. I mean, our traffic is still very strong. We're showing increases over over previous years. So, 
people like to still shop and and as you folks said earlier shop till you drop uh being in retail i love that saying <laughs> <laughs> now scott we were just uh, we were talking to carrie and and i i guess i should have known this but but weather plays a huge part uh, at least in his business and and i would presume it does uh at with with the malls uh as well so w- what are the what are the trends you like to see in just in terms of the weather and uh, to, to uh, increase traffic and and grow your grow your business well i think when you you know when you look at the, the the snowflakes that we had uh you know uh late last week i think that sort of stimulates people into and i heard you you know i heard you talking about snow tires and, and that was a big thing because i know as, just as an aside my uh my one of my daughters uh her boyfriend called me and said do you know where i can get my snow tires on quickly and i said absolutely not i mean <laughs> if you're trying to get a, if you're trying to get an appointment now forget it and a good friend of mine owns a tire store and i said well why don't you call kevin and he called kevin and kevin said i'm sorry lad i can't take you till probably the third week of december so you know wow. when you look at the snow piece the other thing it's going to stimulate for for snow it's going to get people in the festive spirit yeah but it's also going to help our footwear retailers yeah i mean you know the boot business and, and that's going to stimulate the the boot business and i think that has spin as well just yeah. getting people in the spirit i think it's it, the weather has a fact it, you know it does play a role we're in discussion with scott baird he is the general manager of fairview park mall in kitchener scott um you know what malls do fantastic is they create that experience for the shopper and um what's uh, fairview park doing to create that experience for the shopper to encourage them to either spend more or to spend more time in the mall well, we've got a lot happening over the holidays. I mean, it's it's uh, we've got visits. You know, of course, Santa's here uh, Monday through Sunday. Uh, you can get uh, photos uh, photos taken with Santa. We've got uh, we've got a holiday fashion display in front of our guest services uh, center uh, just near uh, Pandora. Uh, it's a great place to be inspired, so that uh, so that our shopping clients have some opportunity to see what sort of fashions and merchandise. Is being featured for uh, for holiday 2012. Of course, I got to plug uh, I got to plug uh, Rogers uh, Radio Group. Uh, we've got the Chime Tree of Hope happening again this year as as before. On this Thursday. was not a setup, just so you know this. <laughs> no, of course it's not a setup. No. Well, this this is this has been a tradition for yeah. many, many years. Thursday, December the sixth. Yeah. Right. Broadcast and the community live from here. the community supports it. Absolutely. wholeheartedly every year, and it's very touching, actually. Mm-hmm. And also the for support. you folks, again, plugging uh, plugging 570 News and Kicks 106.7, we've got our Santa Toy Drive yeah. uh, with the Salvation Army, encouraging uh, folks to drop off a new unwrapped toy in support of the Secret Santa Toy Drive located near Bombay and Kodo. And uh, we want to make sure every child has a present under the tree to open on Christmas morning. Right. What a great way to leave it. Scott, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. My pleasure. That's